The materials you will need are joint compound, putty knife, tape, measuring tape, a level ruler, and the acrylic paint of your choice. I ended up using this classic caramel acrylic paint. Decide on a mortar color, popular and neutral colors are white and gray, then paint the entire accent wall that color. Using a measuring tape, decide on a brick size. My brick was 3 inches in height with various length. Measure out the height of the brick along the wall with the measuring tape and mark it vertically with the pencil. With the help of a level ruler, mark all of the horizontal lines. This step will assure symmetry. I highly recommend the use of a level ruler. I mistakenly did not connect all my horizontal lines with the level ruler and as such my rolls are not perfectly the same size. First, add the tape horizontally. Then start at one end and move yourself across the wall as you tape the vertical pieces. I chose not to perfectly align the vertical pieces as you can see on this video. And remember to leave a little bit of tape along the edges to make it easier to pull off the tape. Once your taping is all done, add the joint compound on all of the wall. There is no special technique to doing this, just give it as little or as much texture as you would like. I tried to add a lot of texture in order to give it a more realistic look. Don't take off the tape! <laughs> Leaving the tape on will definitely help you paint the brick faster and luckily I thought about this before completely removing the first row of tape. Test the small area first to assure consistency throughout the wall. Then very lightly paint the entire wall. And if you make a mistake, just paint it with white and redo it and you have the flexibility of choosing the colors that go best with your existing furniture and decor. The colors you can choose from are grays, browns, maroons, blues, or a combination of all of these. If your brick color turns out to be too dark for you, you can always whitewash it later with a 50-50 solution of white paint to water.
if you're interested on this two-seater DIY disc, other DIYs, timeless and seasonal products, or other styling ideas, don't forget to visit us at minimalistfarmstyle.com.